Chiron, and the car is named after uh, one of our official pilots, mm -hmm. which his name was Louis Chiron, mm -hmm. and he was Monegas, and he was driving for us in the late 20s and 30s, and he won several Grand Prix, mm -hmm. and he also won the famous Grand Prix of Monaco in a Bugatti mm -hmm. Type 35. We are happy to take orders mm -hmm. from every uh, connoisseur and customer that uh, wants to have a car. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, so far uh, 200 um, orders, mm -hmm. more than 200 orders for the car, mm -hmm. and the car is limited to 500. Mm -hmm. So in terms of uh, prioritization mm -hmm. and delivery time, um, the multi-owners, customers mm -hmm. that have uh, more than uh, one Bugatti Veyron mm -hmm. in his or her collection are first. And then we have the owners mm -hmm. that, have, uh, that have a Bugatti um, already in their collection and then we have uh, previous Bugatti mm -hmm. owners and then new customers coming to the brand. have the first ideas of mm -hmm. your car and you do this uh, together with your, with your dealer partner mm -hmm. in your country. You work on the uh, initial configurations uh, and then we invite you to come to France, to Molsheim. Mm -hmm. Then you experience the Bugatti Atelier, the uh, Chateau and we have a designer in Molsheim that goes through your configuration in detail. Mm -hmm and uh, then you configure your car from the brake calipers uh, to the exterior design, the uh, leather, the stitching, everything you think of. And then you assign uh, the contract, you, you get pictures of the car, you get um, samples of the material, of the leather, of the carbon fiber, and uh, you uh, get the contract and then you pay a deposit of 200,000 euros and with that you then have a build slot. Mm -hmm. um, ordering a process, you, have, you get certain uh, touch points and mm -hmm. gifts. You will get a high-speed key with, yeah. with the pictures of the car on it. You will get a book mm -hmm. on, on your specific car. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, you, when your production is uh, nine months uh, before, mm -hmm. we order everything. And uh, then the second installment mm -hmm. uh, is ready. You have to pay another 900,000 euros. Mm -hmm. uh, then the car goes into production mm -hmm. and you will get a one to eight model. Color, the the colors, everything. everything. Every Same. detail is your car. Mm -hmm. you, and then you get invited mm -hmm. to Molsheim to hand over your car. Mm -hmm. And then one of our official pilots will come to you and do a drive training mm -hmm. with you with your car. Mm -hmm. And uh, in between, you're also invited mm -hmm. to, a, um, to a drive experience uh, to get a, a first impression. Mm -hmm. We believe that uh, there always needs to be uh, the product sub substance mm -hmm. um, combined with uh, the exclusivity of the car. Mm -hmm. So customers that uh, buy such kind of cars, uh, they want the best of the best. They want mm -hmm. the best car in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and they also want to spend their money wisely. Mm -hmm. So they want to keep the car for 10 years, for 50 years. They want to give it to their son and mm -hmm. hand it over to the next generation. And this is why they want to invest into cars that are very long lasting mm -hmm. and that will appreciate, increase in value. And to answer your question more mm -hmm. specifically, the, yes. the, the market, mm -hmm. uh, when we introduced the Veyron mm -hmm. um, more than 10 years ago, yes. there was no market for cars above yes. 1 million dot euros or dollars. N true. No one dared to mm -hmm. go into this segment. You had uh, aeroplanes and yachts that were 10, 15, 20 million, but most of the cars were the real top cars, the Enso 
Ferrari was priced at 620,000 euros. This was really the top of the top, a limited Ferrari. Mm -hmm. And we went way and above that with a million. And uh, in the beginning, no one believed that this would be possible to sell a motor car uh, in such a league. Mm -hmm. But with the 16-cylinder engine, with the performance and the content, uh, we opened up another segment. And now there are several car manufacturers uh, also offering cars of prices in this area of above 1 million euros. Mm -hmm. And we believe when, when the product is right and justifies uh, the price and the brand has the magic and attractivity that you can sell cars in this market above 1 million and that this segment is growing. Mm -hmm. Yes, as, as you rightly said, uh, the three big markets uh, for Bugatti are Europe, um, the United States and, um, and Asia combined with, uh, with the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And the growth of, uh, of Asia mm -hmm. is uh, by far the biggest of the three regions compared to the previous car, to the Veyron, mm -hmm. we now have a substantially higher share in Asia than we had with the Veyron. Mm -hmm. In terms of a percentage, we have almost 10% uh, of all cars are mm -hmm. sold to, uh, to Asian customers. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, that they are delivered in, in uh, in Taiwan, uh, Singapore, uh, Hong Kong, or Japan, but uh, we have uh, we have a very strong group of, mm -hmm. uh, especially younger uh, people from Asia that are are totally into into high performance cars. Mm -hmm. As some of them have their cars in Asia, others have their car in uh, in America or in Canada, mm -hmm. and we have uh, customers that have their cars in in Germany and in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So, like other billionaires, uh, those customers have multiple homes and they have their car where they uh, enjoy driving it. Mm 